Wednesday morning. That means it's Picky Picayune Wednesday. Uh, Daniel Clifton, the editor of the Picayune, on vacation this week, enjoying spring break. So in his place this morning, we have Jared Fields, everybody. Hey, Ed. Hey, Kay. How's it going? Good. How are you, bud? I'm making it. All right. Hey, let's talk about what's in this week's edition of the Picayune. All right. On your doorsteps this morning. If you're not getting it, listen at the end of the conversation. We'll tell you how to do that. But uh, spring right around the corner and a good time to start some fishing. And there's going to be a big fishing championship that is going on this weekend. And y'all have got the story of this week's edition of the Picayune. Yeah, that's right. We're all about spring for this issue. So the uh, state high school fishing championship is in... Uh, Lake LBJ this weekend, so they'll have a hundred teams competing. So you've got a hundred boats out on Lake LBJ, along with all the spring break traffic. So they're trying to <laughs> coordinate all that. This is, uh, I want to say, the third year for the state championship I think you're right. I think you're to be right. here, and uh, they're really excited about it. They had a, a huge record-setting year last year. They had a team catch uh, 32 pounds. Of yeah. bass, mm-hmm. yeah, uh, among five fish, which is a, a, a national record, they said. So uh, they're looking forward to to everybody coming in for that. They're going to have to really surpass. I, I, we had them on the air with us the other day. They're going to have to surpass this guy from Michigan that came down on vacation. Do you hear about that? I did. I, I heard you guys talking <laughs> yeah. about it. Of Caught course, a bass for forty four pounds. That's unbelievable, that's, right? That's huge. That that's really a heck is. of a fish fry right there. I tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> so look out and learn something about fishing this weekend with the Fishing Championship. Read all about it in this week's edition of the Picky Unit. As we said, spring around around the corner. I think Friday is the first official day of spring. And this week's edition of the Picky Unit is all about spring, especially the growing tips if uh, you're putting together your gardens and stuff. Yeah, one of our co-workers is, is digging up a garden himself. And uh, Daniel loves talking to the master gardeners around here. So we've got two lawn and garden shows. We've got one up That's in right. Burnett. Mm-hmm. And then we've got one out in Lansing. Lano as well. Um, the which one's the first one? Burnham? I think the Lano one's first, Lano's and first. then the Lano's first. Lano's first. You're right. Yeah. Okay, so you can go out to Lano, you and then Burn is the 28th, I believe. 28th, yes. right. right. The one in Lano, it's at a church. It's at the Louis Watkins uh, Methodist Church in Lano. Uh, Jessica Robertson from Backbone Valley Nursery mm-hmm. oh, will be her. out there. Yeah, right. She's she's in a lot. And she talks. knows her stuff too. She, she does. definitely can answer a lot of questions. The cool thing about both the the uh, lawn and garden shows too is that you have the opportunity not only to see all these great demonstrations from all these master gardeners and learn a lot of things, but you can purchase a lot of plants that you might not be able to purchase otherwise, and they're all native they're they so they take less water less maintenance so it really makes it great for someone who may not have the greenest of green thumbs yeah uh, yeah, yeah they try to help your thumb out there yeah. put a little put a little spray paint on that thumb. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're heading to the uh, burn it garden show this year k-bay will be broadcasting live yeah. we'll be there on that saturday morning so join us for that and finally in this week's edition of the picayune we were talking about it yesterday on the show uh they are proposing an open carry permit in the state of texas that means that if it passes and the governor says if it if it goes before him, he will sign it. That means that we can all be toting guns like in the old days around here. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, if you're into that kind of thing, there's a big uh, uh, shooting. Ch- is it a shooting championship? Or? Oh, no, no. This is just for fun uh, right. that they're having out at Copperhead Creek. Mm-hmm. Uh, we saw it, and uh, it kind of stood out to us. So aerial gunnery, that's what they call it. Uh-huh. Oh. Go up in a helicopter. Shoot some guns, right? So oh, they've got cool. a seriously. They've got 400 acres on the backside of Copperhead Creek Shooting Club. It's east of Marble Falls, and uh, this guy from uh, Temple has a company, and he's come out a couple of times now. And anyway, if uh, if you've got the uh, money, honey, they've got the time, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you can bring your gun, or they I think they help supply that as well. But uh, yeah, they've got steel targets over 400 acres, and it's hilly terrain, and, and ups and downs, and trees, and it's a it's a lot of fun. So wow. 18 or over to do it. But here's the catch: if you want to take your kid and they're under 18. That's still cool, but uh, they can only shoot paintball guns. Ah, all right. All that right. sounds more my speed, too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and they I said, see. he actually said that the less experience you have shooting moving targets, the better you are because it's such a different uh, experience shooting something while you're the one while moving. you're moving, exactly. Right, and the target, you, you don't lead a target. You have to trail the target mm-hmm. and let the bullet catch up to it. Wow. wow. That Interesting sounds like stuff. a lot of fun. Yeah. That's going on this weekend. Read all about in this week's edition of the Pick Yoon, as we said. Should be on your doorsteps this morning, but if uh, you're not getting your copy, tell them how to go about doing that, Jerry. You can get your copy by calling the front desk, area code 830-693-7152, and you can also get 
coming up. The 101 Fun Things to Do. The Spring the Summer Highland Edition. Lakes, the Spring Summer Edition. That's right. Yeah. First day of spring. Bam. Spring Summer Edition coming there out. There you go. Burn it. Lano County stores, restaurants. It'll be all over the place. Literally so. 101 fun things to do. That's Literally right. 101 <laughs> and both, fun things to do. And both the Picayune and the 101 Things to Do magazine, as always, are free. <laughs> Jared Fields from the Picayune. Thanks for joining us this morning, bud. No problem. Thanks, you guys.